What's good guys, it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be answering some frequently asked questions that I have been getting on my lock content videos. So, if you're interested in finding out what are those frequently asked questions, then please continue to watch. Okay, so some of the questions that I have been getting on my channel may seem obvious to some people, but I just want everyone to be aware that not everybody think the same and some people have certain questions which you may not have so with a few people asking these same types of questions you know you have to bear in mind that there may be a larger audience out there that's wondering the same things but feel like they don't want to ask these questions so I thought why not just do this video to help you out so let's get right into the questions Okay, so one of the most frequently asked questions that I get on my channel is how long does my hair have to be before starting locks? Now, I'm assuming the person who asked this question is more so relating this question to two strand twists because on my channel, I share my lock journey, which I have started with the two strand twist method. So with that said, I would say anywhere between 2.5 to three inches of hair, you could definitely start your lock journey with. Now, I personally say 2.5 to three inches because I find that, or I feel that um, when you do your two strand twists, your hair won't be, you know, it won't unravel very easily because it's a bit longer than like anything below that. Because if you think about it, if you have like a two inch hair, like I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that it can't be done. I'm just saying that you will, ex you would, sorry, experience a lot more unraveling, you know, in my opinion, that's just my personal opinion. So I would say anywhere from two and a half to three inches in length, you could definitely start your lock journey. Okay, so another frequently asked question I do get on my page is, how long should I leave the two strand twist alone before taking them out or should I let it grow out? Now the answer to that question is you definitely do not want to take your two strand twist out because clearly you are starting your lock journey with the two strand twist method. So you're going to leave the hair in the two strand twist because if you unravel it, it's not necessarily going to be started with a two strand twist. So for anybody else out there who's wondering if you unravel your twist, you definitely do not unravel them. You leave them and let it grow out and then it will lock just like this. So another question I have here is how long should I leave the clips in after retwisting my hair? So once you're finished um, retwisting your hair and you put your clips in, you wanna wait until your hair is dry, right? Cause you don't wanna take the clips out when it's not dry because it will be a little bit fuzzy. When you leave the clips in, you more so get like a nice like finish. Okay, I don't wanna mess my hair up or anything, but you get more like of a nicer, a flatter finish like this. Because when I think back to my first lock journey, I never used to use clips when it come to retwist. And I used to just like retwist it with my hair and let it kind of like loop around like in like a little donut. <laughs> and um, I find that doing it this way with the clips, it leave my hair so much more neater and flatter. So you want to wait until your hair is dry before you take it out. Because if you do take it out before that, it will come out looking a little bit fuzzy and not as neat. So following on from that question, the next frequently asked question I get on my channel is how long does it take for your locks to dry? Now my locks, it takes, uh, I don't know. I really have never, um, you know, watched that because whenever I wash my hair, I always, always like sleep on my retwist. Like I'll freshly retwist my hair, tie it up and go to bed. Even if I was to do my hair during the early afternoon or anything like that, I always like to just keep it um, covered until the next day and then I pull it out. Now, um, when it comes to my son, I like to do his hair from early in the morning or afternoon, <laughs> rarely ever do his hair in the morning, but I do it much earlier in the day and then by the end of the day, then I'll take it out because I allow his our hair to air dry. Now, you do not have to, you know, 
air dry your hair I just like that because I don't necessarily want to put too much heat on our hair so it takes anywhere between I don't know a couple of hours for it to dry if you are allowing it to air dry but clearly if you use a blow dryer or a hooded dryer it will speed the process up so it's totally up to you and how you choose to dry your hair you know it can vary and also the thickness of your locks definitely play a part in the quickness of how it dries okay so another question I get often on my channel is what products do you use to retwist now I have recently done a video detailing all the products I use on my locks and I also have a video where I am showing you you know how I retwist my locks and I show everything that I use so I'll definitely link those videos right here for you to go and check out because the answer is there I have given that answer a few times on my channel so I hope you guys you know will enjoy that video to find out the answer to that question okay <laughs> Following on from that question, another frequently asked question I get on my channel is, do I need to use locking gel to retwist? And the answer to that is no. You definitely do not need to use locking gel or any holding products to retwist. But you do get different results when you use holding products in comparison to not using holding products now i did a video showing how that affects my hair and you know how to maintain your retwist much longer if you choose not to use holding products and also if you do choose to use holding products i show you how to make your retwist last longer and once again, I will link that video right here for you to go and check out so you can see the results you would have if you choose to use holding products versus not using holding products. But overall, the answer to that question is no, you do not need to use holding gel or holding products to retwist your locks. Okay, so the next question I get asked frequently on my channel is how often do you interlock? Now, I'm not quite sure why people ask me this question, but at the same time, I kind of understand where that question is coming from. And I believe that question is coming from, you know, the fact that I showed you guys how I started mine and Jaden's lock journey using a two strand twist method. But in the initial journey, I, at the beginning of the journey, I showed that I interlock the roots now clearly on my channel i've never ever showed myself interlocking mine or Jaden's here ever since that day or the beginning stages of the lock journey from the first day so i think that's why people ask that question but i don't interlock our locks um i don't do that at all apart from the beginning stages of our lock journey and the only reason why i interlock at that stage is just to keep the roots nice and neat and not um you know become all undone when the two strand twists unravel because as you would see in Jaden's first month's um wash up wash and retwist video you would see that um, he had some unraveling and also in my three month lock update video i did speak about unraveling um starter locks but um with the roots being interlocked it won't actually unravel all the way down because the interlocked part would keep it nice and secure so that's why i interlock the um, roots at the beginning but after that stage i don't interlock and that's because i don't necessarily like the finished look when you interlock your roots so carrying on from the last question, the next frequently asked question I get on my channel is when interlocking the roots, how many times do you interlock? Now, when I um, shared with you all, um, you know, how I started Jaden's lock journey, I actually interlocked his roots about three times. Now, I can't quite recall the directions in which I went, but I definitely remember doing it three times. And it was more so because I did not want to do his roots really tight. Now, if you see my other video where I was talking about repairing thin locks, if you check that video, you will see that I interlock my roots a lot more than three times. Now, the reason why I want to make reference to that is because, you know, I would say it definitely comes down to 
the tightness of what you want now when it came to Jaden's hair I did not want to interlock the roots too tightly but when you see the other video where I referenced with myself when I was you know interlocking my um, new growth I interlocked it enough until it was tighter to you know and closer to my scalp not crazy tight but you know I did it enough so that it was something that I was happy with so when it comes to interlocking your roots it's certainly up to you and what you're comfortable with in terms of the tightness that you are after or the neatness that you are after when you um, are retightening or interlocking your roots but when I started Jaden's lock journey I interlocked his roots three times and I think when I did mine I think I may have done it about three four times I can't recall because that was like over two years ago and I never thought to record you know that starting process okay so the next frequently asked question I have on my channel is when do you wash your hair after installation and how often do you wash and retwist now I'm gonna answer the first part of that question by sending you guys over to this video right here because um, I think when I did this video I did say that this was a frequently asked question on my channel so I definitely have the answer for you right here so go on over and check that video out but in regards to the second part of the question, I wash and retwist mine and Jaden's hair once a month, right? Um, so yeah, sometimes I try and do it like, well, my hair um, twice a month, like every two weeks, but sometimes it can be a little bit too much, but you know, I try to aim for once a month. And that's not to say there have been moments where it's been a little bit longer than you know a month <laughs> but um i usually try to aim for once a month but if you check out my video right here um you will see that you know how often you wash your hair certainly depends on what is going on on your scalp now i don't know what your hair um condition is or your scalp condition is because some people may have oily scalp or dry itchy flaky scalp etc but again I definitely touched on those um, you know topics in this video here so definitely go and check it out okay so the final most frequently asked question that I'm going to answer today is what is the best method to prevent unraveling now in regards to that question the answer is this no matter what method you start with, there is going to be some form of unraveling. The only lock method, um, locking method that I can say you would definitely not experience any unraveling with is if you were to start your lock journey with instant locks. Now, if you're not starting it with instant locks, then you can definitely expect some unraveling. However, in my opinion, what I could suggest to help with um, preventing or minimizing unraveling is to braid the ends of your two-strand twist. And this is um, assuming that you're using the two-strand twist method. Now, if you're using comb coils, I am not sure how to um, advise um, you know, the prevention of unraveling apart from you know because i have seen other people's videos who have started their lock journey with um comb coils and they suggest like washing your hair with like um a stocking cap on top of your hair and obviously when you go to bed you want to keep your head covered at night as well to help prevent or minimize um, unraveling now you could also use rubber bands at the end of your two strand twist as well to prevent it from unraveling but um to be honest there is not a lot of unraveling and even if your hair was to unravel it's not going to affect the locking process all you have to do is just retwist the hair and just let it be because when i was in the first three months of my lock journey i did experience unraveling i experienced unraveling at the first month um when i washed and retwisted my hair and also in the second month of washing and retwisting my hair and then after that i never experienced um unraveling again and with Jaden, he only experienced unraveling and it was only one of his two strand twists unraveled after his first wash and retwist. But after that, well, before the retwist, obviously, but after his first wash, there was only one lock that, um, one starter lock that unraveled. 
and in mine it was a couple it was definitely not more than five you know it was definitely below five that unraveled but unraveling don't affect how quick or how long it will take for your two strand twist to actually form a lock okay so that's all the questions i am going to be answering for today i hope you guys found the um this video very helpful but if there are certain questions that you have that you didn't hear in this video and you would like me to answer them certainly go ahead and drop your questions in the comments below and i will definitely get back to you with a response so until next week sunday at 5 p.m i will be right back here with another video